Morning guys, welcome to Real Therapy Fishing. We're gonna go and put out a long line today and see what we can catch. Okay, so um, I'll show you first of all the baits that we're using, or the bait, um, and the clips of everything. So down here we've got a a little bucket. It's one of them little sort of builders, a bit warped up actually where it's been in the freezer, because what we do is we get our squid on the hooks and bait elastic them on, and then they're attached on one of these lines. So they've got like a little hook through on the hook and it goes down and it's got a little clip. So on the main um, long line there's split rings um, so these clips will just literally just clip on and we'll feed them out as we go. So we'll leave the engine running or we might even switch the engine off depending on what the flow of the tide is and we will um, yeah, clip them on as we go. We'll get out there and set up, get ourselves sorted and we'll get back to you. Okay guys, so this is our long line set up. We've got an anchor connected to this long piece of rope, spliced with an eye, up to one buoy. And we'll do the exact same there. We'll connect up to this anchor with that buoy. What we have here is, is this is our actual long line. And see here, we take one end and this clips onto our carabiner as well so that clips onto there and then we send it down in a big line but you'll see that more as we uh as we do it As you can see, our first anchor and the start of the long line is put out first. Once the anchor has gripped the seabed, we can then start clipping our baited lines to the main string. We are using 6-0 or Shaughnessy hooks. Now the tide is taking us away from the anchor, which has pulled the line tight, making it an easier task for us to clip on the baited lines. Our long line has 40 hooks, which isn't a lot compared to commercial fishermen.
here you can see the long line is nice and tight. You don't want a fast running tide because this could be dangerous. We would recommend that if you're doing it this way, two people is a must. One clipping baits to the long line and the other one passing baits whilst being extremely careful with the hooks. Once you've come to the last eyelet, it's now time to clip on your last anchor. Don't forget to clip on your buoy. So allow yourself to drift well away from all the ropes before you start your engine, as this could result in tangles. In the meantime, we're going fishing. Okay guys, we're gonna pick up the long lines now. They've been out for, I'd say three hours, three, four hours. Yeah. So, just heading to them now. They're literally there and there, so won't be long now. We're gonna go to, that one first because the tide's running that way so pick up that one and the boat shouldn't drift over the top of the line now the fun part pick up your boy and retrieve your catch
well, we had a mixed bag of dogfish, whiting, thornback rays, and even a smooth hound. To make our job easier for the next time, we use our long line and we re-spool it back onto its frame. As the line has been retrieved, we can unclip our lines and store them safely back in the bucket. The other thing we like about this design is how easy it is when you catch the fish to unclip and deal with them later. Alright guys, uh, we pulled up the long line and we're 
We've got a couple of skate. We're going to keep them ones, aren't we? So yeah. they're not too bad. Um, yeah, we didn't do bad on there, did we? Had no. smooth hound, skate, white in we threw back, dogfish. So yeah. Starfish the lot. Yeah. <laughs> Starfish the lot. So that was a nice little surprise on there. We'll definitely do that again. So that's the end of uh, this video. We hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Cheers, guys.